Not only are we going to make great 360 content without using a 360 camera, we are going to make a time machine that's going to let us go back to a certain place at a certain time whenever we want. I got this idea basically because of this picture. This is the last time my wife would be at her childhood home sitting by the pool. It was going to be sold in the morning and I really wish I could have created a virtual tour of the entire house. A lot of people who haven't sold a home that they grew up in don't realize that one day you're going to close that door and you're not going to be allowed back in. And even if you are able to get back in, the new owners, you know them or they're nice or whatever, when you go back, you really don't want to go back to just the house. You want to go back to a specific time. You want you know, they've had all new renovations, paint, all new furniture. So you're walking into something that actually doesn't feel familiar. You want to go back and see what the bedspread was like, what you had on the walls, the things on your shelves. And so all of that is what I'm trying to create for my kids to be able to come back and just step back into their, you know, the comfort of their childhood room and be able to look around and see what was on the walls. For me, dropping 400 or $800 just for a 360 camera to set it up, really wasn't worth it. So when I found out about this setup, I was super excited and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's get started. You need an iPhone 12 Pro or 13 Pro, or there are some iPads that have the LiDAR functionality in it that you can do this with. Uh, a PC, laptop, or computer. Uh, I say PC because I'm gonna be transferring it to the Oculus Quest 2 and it's Android based, so these two well, uh, work well together. And then the Oculus Quest 2 and uh, USB-C cable to get those files from the computer over to the Quest. The app is pretty self-explanatory. It's called Polycam, and go to the App Store and download it onto your uh, iPhone or iPad or whichever one you're using. The Pro lets you export what we need, the OBJ file. And it's nice that they let you sign up for either a year or a month. I just did it, the $8 a month plan, and I plan to cancel it when I'm done using it for things. But I'm finding that I can also scan a lot of other things. And a cool feature is it lets you put whatever you scan right into AR. My wife wasn't that thrilled about it, but uh, I have a lot of mini bikes, so this was really cool. Scanning the room with the phone was actually super easy. On the app, I chose the room function. That's a new function. And that's really cool because that, it builds kind of a um, diorama of the room, which is really wild in 3D. You can see that it's building the walls, puts the windows in, kind of blocks off the furniture. And then you can go through and highlight the textures. And what it doesn't really do a great job of is letting you know on the texture side if you've done a good job. And you can experiment with either the room one or just the regular scanning one, but I like the room one because it's, well, built for this purpose. It's, it, it, it sees the corners, it sees the beds, it sees the furniture and all that stuff. And it's really kind of nice so you know that when you've covered the whole room. Doing the ceiling and the floor, don't forget, it's something that probably the ceiling isn't that necessary, but it kind of completes the whole picture. Not like the shelving, but everything else looks pretty good. I think that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to use that one. I will download OBJ. And I'm going to mail that to myself. And then it's to Unity. What we need to download onto the PC is the Unity game engine. Unity is made for creating all these games in 3D and whatnot. And if you're just using it for personal reasons, they give it to you to experiment, to have fun, student, or uh, as long as you're not building a, you know, a game that's going to create money. If, it, if you're doing anything that's going to create money, you're going to have to give them a piece of whatever you create. It's a great business model, and it also lets people uh, download it and play with your software and get used to creating things in 3D that puts more things out there. Just go through the process of downloading. There's another guy named Andy that I followed, uh, and I'm going to put that link up here. I recommend you watch that. That's for downloading Unity and getting it all installed and configured on your PC. The only thing he didn't go over that I will go over in a little bit more detail is um, also installing SideQuest on your PC 
and SideQuest will get the final APK that you create with Unity. It'll get that file over to the headset, which is what you need to actually run it on your Quest. That was a little vague in, in his video, so I'll explain how to do that. So go ahead and, and watch that. I'm not gonna recreate the wheel. Uh, head over there, watch his thing, set it up, get it all downloaded. That takes about 10, 15 minutes just because it's about eight, eight gigs of space. But once you get that up and running, it's super easy. Basically, all you do is you email you, the OBJ file that you exported from the Polycam app, email it to yourself, save it in a folder. You just import that in and drag it to the timeline. You'll see the room just appear on the timeline. You're gonna drag over the, a Oculus camera. I made it so someone walks into the middle of the room or when they put the headset on, they're standing up in the middle of the room and they can look around left or right. It took me a little while because I had tilted it and it's really awkward when you put something on and it's tilted, so just make sure that when somebody puts it on, every, you know, usually straightforward, level horizon, and they can look around and even walk around once they get it on. So you drag a camera on there, and then you drag the left and right controller on there, and they're all presets. Then you build the project, which will make the APK for the Android device, and save it somewhere on your computer. And once that's saved, you're going to go over and you're going to now download SideQuest, which is an application that's going to make sure your headset is connected, your headset's turned on. It's going to make sure that you're in your Oculus or Meta app that you have enabled developer mode. It's very important. And then anytime you plug your headset into a computer, the headset's going to say, hey, do you want this computer to be able to talk back and forth to the headset? Make sure you've looked in there and you've, you've clicked yes, trust this computer, I want it to talk back and forth. These over here, these connection status, not detected. It'll basically walk you through everything here as I'm hooking up my Quest. You see it's switched and now I have everything. The Quest is detected, the developer mode is enabled, ADB detected, and device is authorized. So as soon as you have that, you can just go grab your APK. I'm gonna add this one. It's gonna copy it over, installing the APK. And it is successful. It's that easy to move it from your computer over to your headset. Now I'm gonna put it on and show you what it looks like. So I'm just going to use this little space here to, as my safe area to walk around the room and I'll show you what it looks like from the recording. Then what you do is you go to your app library, go to the all and then unknown sources and my project. What it'll do is start up made with Unity. Then I should be placed directly in the room I just made. Oh, it's perfect. And I can walk around. And there's the dog. This is a little low, the camera. I'd go back and raise the camera a little bit because it seems like I'm a little bit below the floor here. But other than that, like being able to walk through a room, use the dresser, see the what's on the shelving, his jersey. We have uh, a, uh, uh, he loves the Canadians, the Stanley Cup champion uh, banner, TV. And this is already getting me choked up. There's our family dog, Daisy, on the bed. That's going to be cool to see when he's older. It's a really cool thing to go back in time to a specific spot uh, that, you know, you've, you, you love. So try it out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Usually respond pretty good to the comments. And please check out some of my other videos. And if you like this type of stuff, you know, whenever I find something cool, I make sure to document it and try to get it out to someone else. So... I hope you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe if you do. And thanks for watching.